addiction, a word we often associate with substances like drugs or alcohol, but what if I told you that addiction goes far deeper than just behavior? What if it's your brain, rewiring itself to crave the very thing hurting you? Welcome back to Medicsteen, your weekly source of medically sound, easy to understand health education. Today, we're diving into the neuroscience of brain addiction. We'll uncover what addiction does to your brain, how it hijacks your reward system, and most importantly, can the brain heal itself? What is addiction? Addiction isn't just about poor choices, it's a chronic brain disease. It involves compulsive behavior that continues despite harmful consequences. Whether it's opioids, nicotine, sugar, or even social media, the root mechanism remains the same, a hijacked reward system. Repeated behavior the brain adapts followed by intensified cravings and decreased control over your brain. Addiction affects several brain regions, but the key players are the prefrontal cortex, which handles decision-making and self-control, and the limbic system, especially the nucleus accumbens, which is involved in reward and motivation. The brain's reward system. Let's talk dopamine, often dubbed the pleasure chemical. Dopamine isn't just about feeling good, it teaches your brain what to pay attention to and what to repeat. Every time you do something enjoyable, eat, laugh, exercise, your brain releases dopamine. But addictive substances or behaviors trigger surges of dopamine far beyond natural levels. This overstimulation tricks your brain into believing that the addictive behavior is essential for survival. Over time, your brain becomes less responsive to dopamine, a process known as tolerance, meaning you need more of the substance or behavior just to feel normal again. Structural brain changes. Addiction physically changes the brain, repeated exposure causes. Reduced gray matter in areas linked to self-control, overactive amygdala increasing stress and emotional reactivity, weaken prefrontal cortex making it harder to resist urges. These structural changes can explain why people with addiction often relapse even after long periods of sobriety. There is also the case of behavioral addictions. Not all addictions involve substances. Behavioral addictions like gambling, excessive gaming, or compulsive phone use activate the same dopamine pathways. The reward loop still gets hijacked. Studies show that excessive smartphone use, especially in adolescence, is associated with reduced cognitive control and emotional regulation similar to what we see in drug addiction. Can the brain heal from addiction? Here's the good news. The brain can change. Thanks to a concept called neuroplasticity, the brain has the ability to form new neural pathways even after addiction. Recovery is possible through Therapy like CBT, cognitive behavioral therapy, medication-assisted treatment for opioids, alcohol, exercise and mindfulness, which naturally boosts dopamine, support systems and social connections. With time and treatment, the brain can restore balance, rebuild damaged circuits, and regain self-control. But it takes time weeks, months, sometimes years. Addiction is not just about willpower, it's about brain power. Understanding the neuroscience of addiction helps us move past stigma and toward empathy, support, and effective treatment. If you or someone you love is struggling, remember, recovery isn't just possible, it's scientifically supported. If you found this video insightful, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and hit that subscribe button for more weekly deep dives into the science of health. Until next time, stay informed, stay healthy. This is Medic Steam. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.